Today we're going to try this little rice cooker. This is a mini rice cooker. I got this at Target. So let's go ahead and get started. Begin with, we've got the rice cooker. This is Dash. It's made by Dash. And on the left side, there's a cook. And then on the right side, there's warm. There's a little toggle button in the middle to toggle between cook and warm. Then of course, you've got the lid to the rice cooker. This is the little bowl that comes with it. And this is the little spoon that comes with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash these few items up because this is the first time I'm using it and we'll be right back. There's also a measuring cup that's included with this and the directions state that do not use a standard measuring cup. So we will be using this measuring cup to make the rice. Curious to see what they're saying about using the measuring cup that's provided with the rice cooker versus a standard measuring cup. So I'm gonna take this this is one cup of rice. I'm gonna pour it into the standard one. And you can see the difference. Like that equals one cup in the measuring cup. And then you can see how much we've got left. If we use a standard measuring cup, it's a little bit lower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and now put one half cup of water into the pot. Put a little pot with one half cup of water and I have added some butter to it. And we're going to use the measuring cup that was provided with the rice cooker. This is one cup and remember that if you use a standard measuring cup, this equals out to about three quarters of a cup. But we're going to go ahead and use this one. I'm going to pour the rice into the pot here and I'm going to stir it up just a little bit and we will be right back. I place a little pot into the rice cooker and I plug it into an outlet and the warm light is now lit. So it says to begin cooking, press down the cooking switch and the cook light indicator will turn on. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And there it is, the cook light has come on and it says go ahead and place the lid on top of the rice cooker. We'll go ahead and do that. So there we have it cooking now. It says when the cooking switch turns off, check to see if your food is done. Once the cooking switch turns off, the warm indicator light will automatically be turned on and will stay on indefinitely to warm your food until you unplug the rice cooker. When your food is done, use the mixing paddle or other non-metal utensils to serve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give this a little bit of time until it completes the cooking time and we will be back. Let's take a quick peek at this and you can see where it's starting to get a little bit warm now. It's been about four to five minutes, so I'm just going to put the lid on it and it'll continue cooking. About eight minutes and it doesn't say in the instructions to do this but I am just wanting to see how this cooks. So I'm just stirring it up just a little bit and you can see it's almost like being on the stove top. It's almost to a boil now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it back up and let it continue to cook. While the rice is cooking, I just wanna show you a few things. It's in the little book here. It's very, very good. There are recipe guides and there's a few recipes in here that I would like to try. They've got the chicken noodle soup, and I think that would be fun to try. They also have cilantro lime rice. They've got pineapple fried rice. And let's see, macaroni and cheese with broccoli. That would be something fun to cook. Oh, a taco bowl, that would be really good. You can see how that picture is. I like the way they've got the recipes here. The Thai coconut rice, rice pudding. So far, some really good recipes. Turkey chili. I guess you could change that out to hamburger chili if you would like, or any kind of different meats. Thai red curry chicken. Dutch baby. Okay, and we've got 
served um, her polenta and German potato salad, banana bread. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I may have to try that and, and let you see how that does because that's very interesting. You've got the giant fluffy pancake. Very good. And then they, the back, they've got customer support numbers. And then of course a warranty. So I'm gonna to have to try different recipes and just film as we go because I am interested in seeing how this does with some of the recipes that we just spoke about. But it's almost reminding me of a, a small crock pot. But uh, we will see. You can see now this is bubbling. I'm gonna give it time because it said that the cook light will go off once the cooking has completed. So I will give it a few more minutes and I will be back. The rice is cooked about 20 minutes and the light on the cook side, on the left hand side, it wasn't going off. So what I did was I I pressed on the little button there and the warm light came on and I don't see an off button either so I believe the way to turn it off you just unplug it I'm going to read the instructions a little bit more but that is what I found out so far so I thought it was on a timer type situation but I don't think it is because when I was looking at some of the other recipes it says cook until you believe that it's done just like it would be in a crock pot and then you flip it over to warm. And then if you need to cook it a little bit more, you can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and I'm gonna serve up a little bit of the rice and then we'll give it a taste. So I'll be right back. I unplugged it and now I'm just gonna stir the rice. It's very, very fluffy. And let's just serve up a little bit of this and give it a try. So this little spoon that they give you, or paddle is what they're calling it, it really works really well. Probably need one of those to cook other things. But it's very, very fluffy, you can see. I can tell no difference in the texture as if I were to cook it on the stove top, but I absolutely love cooking it like this versus on the stove top. So there you go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a little bit of taste. We'll be right back. Very fluffy. Let's give it a little bit of a taste. Very good. It's actually, I almost like the consistency a little bit better cooking it in this pot versus on the stove top. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really, really good. I'm quite surprised. I'm very surprised, really. This is actually excellent. I really like this. So this is the Dash, it's the rice cooker. Really, really like this. So if you're at Target, or anywhere that you see the Dash products. This is the rice cooker, and I believe you could really do what you do in a crock pot. You could actually do it in this rice cooker, and it's called the mini rice cooker. So if you see the Dash product, the mini rice cooker, I would say get one if you really want something that cooks rice fairly quickly and you could possibly use this as a mini crock pot. There's one more thing I want to add to the review here for the little mini rice cooker. When I'm cooking rice on the stovetop, it's watch it, stir, watch it, stir. You have to keep doing that. It's, it's a constant, like just watching it every minute. What I like about this is you place your water into the pot put some butter in it if you want to, then you place your rice in, you stir it up, you place the top on it, you turn it to cook, and you just let it cook. You don't have to sit there, you don't have to stir it. Now, I did stir it one time, but I just wanted to see, since I've never used this before, I wanted to see how it was actually cooking. It's the same as it is on the stove top. 
It's just that it cooks without you having to stand there and watch it and stir and watch and stir. I just like this a lot better. I can't find an off button. Just to unplug it is the only way I'm finding to turn it off. And there's not an automatic shut off on it, which is okay because I just unplug it, which is no big deal. But what really overrides everything is I can just put the rice and the water and the butter in the pot, put the lid on it, cook it, and I don't have to stand there and stir and watch it, stir and watch it. So if you're in the market for a small little mini cooker, this is exactly what I would get. And it would be great for one person or two people. And it's the Dash product. Thanks everyone for visiting Bistro Buzz TV. Come back to see us again. Please like and subscribe. Come back to see us again. Thank you everyone.